Hey, this is Justin with Trade Tech. Um, in this video, we're going to demonstrate how uh, we can do floor framing with our Bid Pro framing for Plan Swift plugin. So the first thing that we're going to do, um, as with all of our uh, trade plugins, is uh, we're going to go ahead and grab a location folder in our estimating tab and drag over. We're going to be doing the first level floor, so that we'll select that. <coughs> Um, the location folders not only organize your takeoff but also any um, items within that folder will be assigned to that location in your reports. Okay, so we're going to go to our framing assemblies. Um, and again, we've got a combination of takeoff assemblies as well as drag and drop that you can use. Uh, if you've got other trades, uh, plugins, and you've already you know done a takeoff with a different um, assembly you can drag and drop uh, the framing materials onto that if you need to okay so we're gonna go into our floors and ceilings folder in our wood folder we got a couple different assemblies set up that you can uh, duplicate make as many copies as you want and go in and, and, and change the selections of material um, and rename those assemblies so that you can have as many different copies of the assembly set up as you want with different uh, selections made. So if you've got certain types of floor systems that you take off, you know, over and over again, you can set up a, um, all you got to do is highlight the um, assembly and go up here and hit, hit this duplicate button. It'll make a copy of it. You can rename it and uh, set it up however you want. Okay, so we've just got a floor system on a crawl space here, um, and I'm just going to show you how these uh, assemblies work, and then um, show you how the material hits the reports. So we've got um, you know four main assemblies here in the wood floor framing. Again, you can duplicate these and make as many um, assemblies out of these as you like. We're going to uh, just demonstrate the uh, floor and ceiling joist and sheathing assembly. So if you wanted to be able to pick up the entire floor system, including the floor joist. Uh, under assembly info, this is, you know, again, w when you name the assembly, you would want to name it something that um, you know the material that's in, you know, that you've set up. So we'll name this uh, 2x10 floor joist uh, for Bantec sheathing and then you can assign a, um, a price per square foot if you want to uh, be able to, to uh, pick up an amount in your bid report uh, for this and, and it, it's just based on square foot pricing so whatever you wanted to put in that uh, you could do this uh, pitch would allow you if this um, let's say this was a ceiling that you were taking off ceiling framing that was vaulted you could actually uh, put your pitch in there and it'll it'll add that pitch factor to all your materials and then of course you've got a waste percentage and then you just click through the tabs and make your selections uh, we got 2 by 10 SYP number 2 16 on center spacing um, there's a description field that you can that you can modify the description if you want for each of the materials and this minimum length new length is a neat feature in the joist tool uh, this assembly is basically built with the joist tool and plan swift that you can set a minimum length uh, I've got it set at 8 feet in a new length of 12 and so what will happen is any joist that gets um, created that's that's less than 8 feet long will be figured out of 12 feet material uh, we've got two different hardware types that you can use basically pick up uh, like joist hangers uh, and this is hardware per joist so we've got a hardware one hardware two um, you can select the quantity the hardware quantity per joist for each one and then a description as well can also pick up rim board this is going to be an area takeoff that we're going to do <clears throat> and then populate the floor joist within that area so um, so the rim board will calculate from the linear total of that takeoff which will be the perimeter of that area so if you want to pick up your rim board that way, you can. Um, and then your 
your board links on all of these assemblies um, that have the, this uh, particular feature would be uh, what material length you want to order uh, your rim board material out of. So we're going we're gonna to set it to 16 footers. And then again, just like with all of our assemblies, any, any item that you don't want to use or that you don't need, you can just simply select NA. And when you, it basically will turn that item off, so it's not going to quantify anything. Uh, it's not going to quantify any rim board if you select NA. Then we've got the sheathing tab, uh, where you just make your selection for the for the sheathing type uh, size and type that you want. Again, you can uh, the sheathing has an on-off switch as well, where you can just turn the sheathing off if you just need to pick up the joist, and then sub four glue if you need that. All right, and then at the bottom, uh, we're going to select the folder that we uh, drug over in our estimating tab for our location. So we've got that selected down here. And just real quick, I'll just show you how it works. Um, you just go around and do your area takeoff, and you want to break the, the takeoff into sections of how your floor joist would, would run over the crawl space. So this would be my first section. And then we'd have another section here that, you know, they're going to break on this crib wall. And then so you would you would do your takeoff in sections based on how your floor joists would run. So once you've got your area, you can click inside that. When you do that, it, it populates these buttons up top. So we can uh, select draw joist. And then all we have to do is, is um, click on the first point, run a line that's you know, in line or parallel with the way the joists are going to run, click a second point and it automatically is going to uh, create all those joists for you. So you can see that it's it's giving you a count here of 30, 14 footers. So if we go to our port reports real quick and see how that's populated in our reports, this is the bid detail. So you can see where this is what we named the assembly, 2x10 floor joist of Antec sheathing. This is how many square feet we've taken off so far, and it gives you your bid amount. And then when we set the job up, we can set up a percentage, markup percentage that we want to apply to that. So in our materials by location report, um, so this is all the material that we picked up off of the off of that one takeoff. We've got our floor joists, we've got our rim board, we've got our floor sheathing, um, we've got our joist hangers which we had um, uh, selected and then we've got our subfloor glue as well. So in that one assembly and takeoff we basically can pick up all the material that we need for the floor framing. Uh, and going back to the location and you can see how <clears throat> the materials by location, it, it's, it's grouping the material under the first level floor. So as we add more locations to the job um, and group those materials, it's going to basically give us a cut list by level for all of our material. And then in the consolidated report, it's just going to give us a consolidated list of all material, all like material will be consolidated together for the whole job.